Hello, welcome to part three of my crocheting journey. Um, today I'm going to be doing some decorative stitches. I don't know how they're going to work out. Um, I'm not in the best headspace today, I have to admit. Um, but it's kind of the only chance I've got to record the video. So I'm here. But um, just bear with me because, uh, yeah, I explain in the video why I'm not in the right headspace and everything. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't do very well. <laughs> but you will, you will see. Thank you for watching. Um, thank you for being here, I should say. And uh, I'll see you on the other side. Hello, everybody. Um, so after a brief... Um, week off for the yarn review that I did for Hobie. I am now back with part three of my crochet journey. Um, it is the school holidays, so I might get interrupted a fair amount. He's currently, the youngest is currently out playing. The eldest is at a grandparent's house. So um, it's unlikely I'll get interrupted by the eldest. It's very likely I'll get interrupted by the youngest we will just have to wait and see but um fingers crossed it goes okay um i'm gonna move swiftly on to where we were in the book because i've done a tiny bit of crocheting since i last saw you but more like just double crochet single crochet in the us um just to do the yarn review i did a couple of sing double crocheted slash single crocheted uh, squares um, I also attempted two granny squares uh, the first one was okay the second one failed um, no the third the second one did okay the third one failed that's right um, which is weird but I do find them a little bit fiddly not gonna lie so I need to practice on my granny squares because I really want to get good at those um, but I'm cracking with the double crochet now which is really my ultimate goal because I'm a groomy and as you know I'm supposed to be making a spider for Terry for his birthday I need to keep my voice down because he's upstairs his birthday is it's currently Friday the 31st of May his birthday is the 6th of June so I have until next Wednesday night to get it done I started I haven't started it I found the yarn for it I will do a separate video for it I think and see if we can see if I can get it done Um, this video is going to be something different but yeah, I'm currently trying to finish a pair of socks for him, so which is nearly done, so that'll be fine. But yeah, I need to get on with Tara, the tarantula. Anyway, we are moving on. I'm going to use this yarn today um, because I just got on with it better. I know a lot of you were saying, oh, you're making it hard for yourself using cotton, but I just, I love this cotton and I just really did find it easier to use. So I'm going to do what I'm about to do with that yarn it is king cole cotton soft in the apricot colorway in case you're interested in that beautiful beautiful cotton yarn it's 100 percent cotton but it is so soft and um, it's almost like brushed cotton and i absolutely love it um, and i'm using the bella coco set that kelly gave me um, i've got a four millimeter and then a 4.5 just for my foundation rose because i know to do that now and we are going to do, well, I say we, but I am alone. Um, I'm going to do decorative stitches today. Um, these are the ones I'm going to do. So there is, I hope you can see this on the camera, and I hope it's actually filming. Yes, it is. That would have been good. So I'm going to do the waffle stitch. I'm then going to do the linen stitch. And then I'm going to do one that I'm excited about, which is the star stitch. 
and uh, and then I think we've got lemon peel. Oh no, lemon peel is that one, and then crunch. Oh, there's a lot. Right, we might not get through all of these then. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. But we're going to start with waffle stitch. Now I haven't read a pattern yet, but I thought if I do these decorative ones, it might get me in good stead for um, Tara. Tara, who I'm not looking forward to making because I don't like them and it's it's upsetting me that my first ever amigurumi is going to be a bleeding spider <sighs> but the things we do for love start with an even number of chain right i'm not going to go massive because um because we'll be here all day and i'd like to make a good few rows of um each decorative stitch just so i can see them right what did i do there one Right, I'm going to do 12 stitches. Um, I'm way out of practice. <laughs> okay. So it says HDC in second chain from the hook. I need to change my chain. My hook. HDC into second chain from hook. HDC into each chain to end. So that's half double crochet in the American term. I need to look that up again because I can't remember. So half double crochet is half treble crochet in the UK term. So HDC into second stitch from hook. HDC into each chain to end. So in there. No, that's not right. Right. Oh, yeah, no, the in to that. So yeah, no, the through there, yarn over, through. Right, well that's what my half double crochet is, I can't, I, I think that's right. Right, so we've done that. Chain one, chain one, HDC in first stitch. HDC into BLO. <coughs> Of next stitch. What's BLO? HCC into FLO. Oh, back loop. See page 39 for BLO and FLO. Oh, right. 39. Some patterns will ask you to work in a BLO, which stands for back loop only and fruit, front loop only. Right, fruit loop, fruit loop only. Right, so HDC into back loop only. So. Awkward, right? HCC into front loop only. Repeat from start to end.
Sorry if you can hear my washing machine. Put my washers on. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh, and that's it. Repeat row two as many times as you want. Right, we'll do another one then. I think this has got smaller, hasn't it? <laughs> oh, they are. Right, there's one. see that I think I'll have a proper go of it after because I don't want to bore you guys with me doing lots of weird stuff you're stuck let's move on to linen stitch because that one's a bit faffy if the front cover of this video has got lots of beautiful swatches of patterns on the front then I did them all again if it hasn't I gave up and moved on to amigurumi right foundation says start with an even number of stitches let's do 10 this time single chain into second chain from hook Oh, I can't remember any of them, guys. Oh my god, I really can't turn the page, it's really annoying me. Right, chain one, skip the next stitch. This is linen stitch, by the way. Repeat to end. Skip the first stitch. Maybe it doesn't help that they're little. Maybe I should have done bigger swatches. Oh, this is tricky. stitches I've got. What is going on? Look at them. Don't look anything like that, do they? <laughs> right. See, I'm moving on to star stitch now, and I think star stitch is going to be super hard, and I know I'm not really putting a lot of effort in here. Kind of just a bit like... A bit faffy. Prefer knitting. Sorry, I do. But because I'm a knitter, 
Oh, and now my book's shut. I'm just, I, I think I'm just not having a good day. Like, my book keeps closing. I'm just, I'm not having a good day today. I had boys sleeping over in my house last night. Three, well, two eight-year-olds and a seven-year-old. And I'm quite tired. Right, start with an even chain number. Right, let's give this a fighting chance. Two, three. Sixteen, insert the hook into the second chain from, from hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop, keep it on the hook. Repeat this process in the next in the next four chain so you have six loops on your hook right then if you have six hoop loops on your hook one two three four five six yarn over Pull through all six loops, slip stitch to close star. Okay. The next star stitch is worked along the edge of your first star. So insert hook through the center. Maybe start yarn over. Pull up. Oh, I like this. Oh, look at that. Oh, I like it. Chain, insert hook in second chain from hook. Three, four, 
four. Stop doing the yarn overs when you're not supposed to. One, two, three, four, five. Mm, this doesn't seem correct. Six. I've only got two stars on this round. Where previously I had fur. So that's not right. Again, losing stitches. But I'm going to practice that because that is pretty. Oh, that would be a nice top, wouldn't it? Look at me just pulling everything out. <sighs> Today maybe wasn't the day, you know. Today maybe wasn't the day. But I just don't have, don't have another day. Lemon peel stitch. I've had a read through this. I need an odd number of stitches. So we will go with... 15. So this is a weird one. So it says SC into second chain from the hook, DC into the next chain, SC into the next single crochet, which is double crochet. It's very confusing these different names. I think we'll, we need to write a strongly worded letter to somebody. So, hang on, I think I did that wrong while well, that was not a ring. Single crochet or double crochet, right. There it is. Then we're going to DC into the next chain, which is triple crochet for me. So. to triple crochet anymore. for a triple crochet. I could be just making these stitches up, you know. Could just be like talking absolute tosh. I should really watch some videos like you've all advised me to do and I still have not done because I'm a rebel. I'm really not, I'm really not a rebel. I'm just tired and I'm just, I've just been quite busy. I don't know. What's this one called? Lemon peel. Well, this is the easiest one to do so far, I've got to say. Do you get patterns that go, do with lemon peel? Like in knitting where they say work garter stitch, do you get them the go work lemon peel? Uh, DC in the stitch, chain one. Friday and I'm drinking rum tonight and I'm actually quite excited about that fact because I need it. I feel like I say that every Friday. If you're in my nups tea or on um, Patreon you will realise that I probably say that every Friday. I definitely need my rum by Friday. Right I'm going to do another row of that. I 
don't know if I will be able to crochet by the end of this book. I realise that I am currently crocheting, that's wrong. But, um, I don't actually know if I'm doing anything right. No, because that was incorrect right there. But, do you know what I mean? It's not, it's okay. I mean, it cost me five pound, which is really nothing. Like, it's, that's very cheap. So I'm not going to complain. I don't know, I just found it difficult to find what I needed to find on YouTube because I didn't know what to look up and what to do first. That's that old chestnut. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Right. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? That's lemon peel. Yeah, I like that one. Right, I'm still pulling it out though because I'm just going to do big swatches later. See you later. It's Friday and this will be out on Sunday, so I've got to get my skates on. I've got one more left which is called Crunch. And I think I'll call it a day because I'm just in a neat mood. Um, this is an odd number of stitches. This is an odd number of stitches as well. Stitches. So the slip stitch in the first chain from hook. HTC in the next chain. So that's like the one I've just done, but it's shorter. I don't know how HTC is in. Not very good, am I? We all knew this. So. HTC into next stitch. I've got a headache as well. I'm just not in a good mood today. Sorry. the first one I've had where I can actually read it. I can see that that's a slip stitch to go into and the other one is a half double crochet or double crochet whatever the bleeding called. Like I said I give up on names. Today's not the day. Today's definitely not the day. It's not the day for you to play silly beggars either.
like that. Right. That's it for today. I'm going to sit and do them now um, and try and make the bigger swatches. So thank you very much for watching. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just not quite there today. I don't know what's going on. Well, I do know. I'm just tired. I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> Um, but I'm going to now sit and do those patterns and try and get um, a lovely front cover for the video with each of the patterns in so hopefully I can master them. I've forgotten a lot of the basic stitches that I learned right at the beginning but that was like four weeks ago and I haven't really worked on, I've only really done um, double stitch since, double crochet since which is um, single crochet in the US. Yes, that's all I've done since. So it's kind of, they're not stuck in my head yet of what each one means. So that, that makes it quite difficult. Um, but I'm going to go away and practice now. And uh, hopefully this has a beautiful front cover. If it's just my hands with a crochet hook in, you know that I failed. Um, I would like to thank Ellie from Ravelry, Ellie2805. So she very, very kindly um, bought me a pattern, gifted me a pattern, a crochet pattern. So she obviously has faith in me, which is lovely. Thank you so much, Ellie. <laughs> she bought me the Float Tote by Natalie Coons. Um, I hope you can see that. If you can't, I will pop the screen. I'll pop a picture on the screen. But it's got a tote and it's got some little baskets in there. So I could have a tote bag. But um, I love them. I love them. And I love them little baskets. They're like little yarn baskets. They've got little dips in to, so the yarn comes through. I think that's what they're for. This is a crochet bag for your multi scheme projects. Um, yeah, I love that. Sorry, that's my phone going off. Terry sending me messages, even though he knows I'm recording. He's a naughty boy. Um, yes, so thank you so much, Ellie. I really, really appreciate that. And um, I will get to that. I just, I kind of need to get this. I got, I've got to do this spider. I'm very close to the camera, aren't I? So I have to, I need to do my spider. So I'm going to do a little video of, of that and hopefully I get it made and it doesn't look horrendous there is a reel going around of somebody who is crocheting a bee um they have the pattern in front of them and it's beautiful amigurumi bee and then it shows their finished bee and it's like really stretched out and it's really bad And I've lost count of how many times people have sent me that reel. And I'm like, thanks. <laughs> you have no faith in me. So I'm hoping my spider isn't like, looks like it's been run over by a bus and does actually resemble a spider. But we will see. Um, stick with me. <laughs> we'll find out. So thank you so much for watching. My battery is going, so I'm going to shoot off. Please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, um, please click the subscribe button and I will see you next time for more crocheting adventures. <laughs> Hopefully with a bit more of a smile on my face and not so grumpy. <laughs> see you next time. Bye.